What's up, Team Gateway? I love that our theme for uh, March's reading month this year is Eric Carle because he's one of my favorite artists, authors, and illustrators. And today I have a story for you called The Mixed Up Chameleon. Uh, we can see that the chameleon is very uh, colorful. He can change his colors based on his surroundings, kind of some camouflage to blend in. Uh, and we'll see what he's up to in the story. On a shiny green leaf sat a small green chameleon. It moved onto a brown tree and turned brownish. Then it rested on a red flower and turned reddish. When the chameleon moved slowly across the yellow sand, it turned yellowish. You could hardly see it. So more of that blending in and camouflage. When the chameleon was warm and had something to eat, it turned a sparkling green. But when it was cold and hungry, it turned gray and dull and kind of sad. So from a vibrant green to a dull neutral gray. When the chameleon was hungry, it sat still and waited. Only its eyes would move up and down and sideways until it spotted a fly. Then the chameleon's long and sticky tongue would shoot out and catch the fly. That was its life. Not very exciting. Until one day. The chameleon saw a zoo. The chameleon had never seen so many beautiful animals at once. All different sizes, all different colors. The chameleon thought, oh, how small I am, how slow, how weak. I wish I could be big and white like a polar bear. And the chameleon's wish came true. He had the color and texture of a polar bear. But was the chameleon happy? Not really. Maybe I wish I could be as handsome as a flamingo, said the chameleon. So now he has the pink wings and long pink legs of a flamingo. Uh, and I also wish I could be as smart as a fox, said the chameleon. And now he has the bushy tail of a fox. Very fuzzy. Uh, and I also wish I could swim like a fish. And now he has the fins and gills of a goldfish. He's collecting a lot of different characteristics here. But he's still not happy or satisfied. I also wish I could run like a deer. And his wish came true, kind of. He got the brown antlers of a deer. Interesting. But still not happy. And I wish I could see things far, far away with a long neck like a giraffe. And so now he has the long neck of a giraffe. He can see far away. I wish I could hide in a shell like a turtle can. So now he has the textured hard shell of a tortuga. And I wish I could be strong like an elephant. So he grows the head, trunk, and ears of an elephant too. He's looking a little cuckoo. And I wish he could be as funny as the seals. And sure enough, he gets the flippers of a seal. And I wish I could be like the people at the zoo too. So, but then just then, a fly flew by the chameleon. The chameleon was very hungry. The chameleon was very mixed up. It was a little of this, a little of that, and it could not catch the fly. Oh my goodness. So, the chameleon wished I could just be myself, and the chameleon's wish came true, and he was able to catch the fly. So, I think Mr. Eric Carl is trying to teach us a lesson that we're all unique and special, and no matter what, be true to yourself, because at the end of the day, you have amazing talents that other people don't have, uh, and you can be happy in your own skin, like the chameleon. And because I'm inspired by Eric Carl and the chameleon, uh, I think we should do a little directed drawing here. And actually, if you want to see a picture of Eric Carl, there he is, the author and illustrator of this book. All right, now, for a directed drawing, you will need a piece of paper. You will need a pencil and an eraser. Uh, keep it light till you get it right. 
I am going to use a permanent marker just so you can see it better on the camera. All right, so when you get started, we're gonna begin with the head of our chameleon. So uh, up near the top, we're gonna create kind of that dipped U shape. So I'm gonna make that U shape there. And then I'm gonna create almost like the letter L. So I'm gonna come down and over. Now I'm gonna create the tongue next. Uh, so it can overlap the bottom part of his mouth. So I'm gonna create that tongue. If you want, you can kind of curve it a little bit if you want. And then around and back up to the mouth. Boom. Now back where you ended up with that L, I'm gonna start there. I'm gonna go behind the tongue. So stop at the tongue. And now go all the way back to the top of the head. Boom, chameleon's head with the tongue. Now for the eyeballs, I'm gonna give him some big eyes. Two eyes. And don't forget the eyelids. So I'm gonna make a curved line from one side to the other. And then the dark part of the eye is the pupil. I'm gonna add those two. It's like two donuts. I'm gonna leave uh, a little white spot for the bright spot of the eye. And if you want, you could add eyebrows or eyelashes. If you want, I might give them some eyebrows. Now, for the body of our chameleon, he is gonna curve and create a spiral at the tail. Uh, so I'm gonna start near the top of the head. I'm gonna curve out toward the edge of my paper and down toward the bottom. I'm gonna curve Toward my tongue and go around like a spiral. Now I'm going to connect that shape. So I'm going to start at the end of my spiral. I'm going to curve around and back. And then it will get wider as you get back toward the head. So I'm going to finish about where the mouth opens. So it gets bigger as it goes back. So right now it kind of looks like a snake. Uh, so to give it the chameleon look, we're gonna have to add legs and the chameleon has four legs. So two uh, up by the head and two near the bottom of the tail. So I'm gonna start up here. I'm gonna give him some uh, toes as well. So some chameleon toes, there's one leg with toes. Uno, dos, tres. Another leg with toes. Uno, dos, tres. I have two legs now, and the other two will be down here. So it's the same shape, repeating. Very curvy. Boom, four legs. And then to give the chameleon a uh, kind of a pattern, I'm gonna create some lines uh, to make shapes. So lines can create shapes. You can make as many as you want. Your chameleon can have as many different sections as your heart desires. Mine might get smaller as my tail gets skinnier. It's up to you. And then you can also make uh, the fly, if you'd like, uh, that it's trying to catch or a different type of food if you want. Um, I'm gonna go with the fly just to kind of match the cover of the book here. So kind of a round head, oval body, the antenna coming off the head. I'm gonna give them kind of a surprised look because uh, a tongue's coming at them. <laughs> so wings as well. And then insects have six legs, so I'm gonna put three on each side. Boom. And you can add some texture. Lines can create texture as well. Uh, so I might even add kind of a textured line in the tongue. You could add some texture in the shapes of the body. It's really up to you. You could add leaves. You could turn your chameleon uh, into all the other different animals or come up with your own animals that you like. So you could be a little abstract, a little cuckoo if you want, uh, or you could be more realistic, or 
if you want to color or add patterns to your chameleon, uh, you can add texture like Eric Carl. You can use different colors. This could also be a great opportunity for you to review uh, warm, cool, and neutral colors as well. So if you want to make a pattern like cool, warm, neutral, cool, warm, neutral, or maybe you use all warm colors or all cool colors, it's up to you. You're the boss of your work. Uh, so I think I'm going to do that next, and I hope you do too. Uh, and I'd love for you to share uh, your work with me next time I see you. So keep up the good work, and adios amigos.